Hello, we are Susana Valdivieso, Fernando Cáceres, Carla Costas, and Alejandro Peña. We are students from the business school from the Catholic University in La Paz, Bolivia, currently in the sixth semester of entrepreneurship. This business school is named EPC, which stands in Spanish for Escuela de la Producción y la Competitividad. We made this tutorial to teach you how to generate a decision tree based on a J48 algorithm using the program named Weka. This tutorial hopes to give you enough tools for you to be able to make a decision tree by yourself in this program. First, we're going to explain what Weka is. Weka stands for Waikito Environment for Knowledge Analysis. It is a popular suite of machine learning software written in Java, developed at the University of Waikito in New Zealand. It contains a collection of visualization tools and algorithms for data analysis and predictive modeling, together with graphical user interfaces for easy access to this functionality. Weka supports several standard data mining tasks, more specifically, data processing, clustering, classification, regression, visualization, and feature selection. All of Weka techniques are predicated on the assumption that data is available in a single flat file, where each data point is described by a fixed number of attributes, which normally are numeric or nominal attributes, but some other attribute types are also supported. The J48 is an algorithm used to generate a decision tree which is generated by a C4.5 algorithm. C4.5 algorithm is used to generate a decision tree developed by Ross Quinlan. C4.5 is an extension of Quinlan's earlier ID3 algorithm. The decision tree generated by C4.5 can be used for classification, and for this reason, it is often referred to as a statistical classifier. In order to make this decision tree, we must have a database to analyze. For this tutorial, we're going to use a credit decision database using more variables. These variables are sex, income, ethnicity, and the amount asked, and several others. With those variables, we can analyze if a person is worth to be given credit or not. Having this database with the correct data is extremely important, because that way we can have data that explains the model we're trying to explain. If the data is not well organized and is redundant, the results we obtain in this decision tree will make no sense. Second, we have to prepare the database by obtaining information. This is done by the experts. The expert has to check different sources. For example, if it's an economic database, the expert should investigate other statistical institutions and other government sources to obtain the information needed. It is necessary for the information to be correct. Otherwise, if incorrect data is imported in Weka, no algorithm will be able to analyze the database properly. To get it started, we have to open the Weka program and click on Explore it. Now, on the top of the screen, we can see that we have six tabs, which include Pre-Process, Classify, Cluster, Associate, Select Attributes, and Visualize. The Pre-Process panel has facilities for importing data from a database, a CSV file, etc. And for pre-processing this data using a so-called filtering algorithm. These filters can be used to transform the data and make it possible to delete instances and attributes according to a specific criteria. You can see a histogram on the right that helps you analyze certain attributes and the relation between them. The Classify panel enables to user to apply classification and regression algorithms, called classifiers in Weka. To the resulting database, to estimate the accuracy of the resulting predictive model and to visualize an erroneous prediction, or the model itself. If the model is susceptible to visualization like a decision tree,
The associate panel provides access to association rule learners that attempt to identify all important interrelationships between attributes in the data. The cluster panel gives access to the clustering techniques in Weka. Example, the simple K means algorithm. There is also an implementation of the expectation maximization algorithm. For learners, a mixture of normal distribution. The Select Attributes panel provides algorithms for identifying the most predictive attributes in a data set. The Visualize panel shows a scatter plot matrix where individual scatter plots can be selected and enlarged and analyzed further using various selection operators. We open our file in the preprocess tab. As we said before, we can see the different attributes in the database and the histogram on the right. In this credit example, we are going to classify the data with the J48 algorithm. For this purpose, we are going to click on Classify. On Classify, we can see various algorithm groups. Base is a density estimation for numerical attributes. Meta is a multi-response linear regression. Functions is a logistic regression. Lazy sets the blend entropy automatically. Rules is a rule learner. And trees classify the data. We click on trees and then on the J48 algorithm. Then click on Use Training Set and run the model by clicking on Start. To visualize the tree, right click on Result and click on Visualize Tree. We can see that the graph is very big, but we can delete some attributes that we think that are not very important. For this, close the graph and click on Pre-Process. Then, select the attributes you want to delete and click on Remove. In this example, we are going to remove every variable but credit amount, employment, age, housing, job and class. Then we run the J48 algorithm again. And if we visualize the tree, we have a much simpler graph to analyze. We can see that credit amount is the most important attribute. If the credit is below $9,000, the credit will be accepted. Between $9,000 and $14,000, another attribute, which is age, must be analyzed. But if a person asks for more than $14,000, the credit will not be accepted. In parentheses, the number of, on the left is the number of observations that obey to the classification. 
and on the right we see the number of exceptions. So, for example, if a person asks for a credit of $10,000 and his or her age is 35 and owns his or her house, the credit will be accepted. Weka is a program that can be used for many other purposes. With this tool you can not only analyze a bank database, but also patient information in a hospital, market data for a company that needs market segmentation, human resources to help a company set certain characteristics apart to decide to hire someone or not. It can also be used to analyze the weather. Weka can be used to analyze any database in order to make good decisions. In order to get good results, the preparation of the database is the most important part. A good database is created by investigating in the most reliable sources an expert can find. As we said before, statistical institutions and government information are good sources to begin with. Implementation of market research such as service are good tools to design a reliable database. Weka is a very easy to use tool for data mining. It has a very user-friendly interface that is easy to use. Its different algorithms facilitate the analysis of data and decision-making. We strongly recommend to use this tool since it helps greatly to analyze a lot of variables that affect us every day. For more information, visit Weka's webpage and download the software. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial on using Weka tool for data mining. Goodbye.